All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, peace and salutations to the whole elect. Coming at you with another lesson of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I want to start at the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 8, and we're going to read it in the NIV. It says, Be alert and be sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. And look, Satan is always desiring someone that who he, who he can who he can sift, you know, and he'll use um, different desires. He'll tempt you with different desires that you may have, you know. So these are things that you know we must be alert and we must be be aware of, you know. Even people, certain people that you keep around you, uh, the different energy that they may carry. You know, their energy, you know, may not line up with your energy, so to speak. Right. You know, this is just a lesson, just, you know, through the spirit of you know being mindful of different things. OK. And one of the main things of us being in this truth, especially in this time, is but being alert. Right. Being alert and of a sober mind. You know, because everything, when you look at everything in this world today, you know, it, it is all too, it is all uh, uh, systematically to what? To trap, to distract Jake, okay? To, dis to pollute and to destroy the minds of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, man, woman, and child. And how this devil is attacking us and like before, you know, how he's attacking us, you know, a lot of it was on a physical level, you know, like how he had Jake, how he grabbed us up and uh, put us, you know, and uh, how he grabbed us up and threw us on the ships and, you know, how he took over our lands and, <clears throat> you know, or what I mean is how he grabbed uh, the southern kingdom from uh, West Africa, you know, the northern kingdom over here in the Americas. And he physically, you know, enslaved them. But now when you see it, Jake is no, no longer in physical bondage. Now they are what? They're in a the mental, they're in a the spiritual bondage, you know. And there's an all out attack on the Israelites. A spiritual attack that Jake can't even see. But see, we in the truth, we see. Right. We have been given the eye style. We have been given the eyes to see. We have been given the ears to hear. So there's particular different things, you know, of we're already aware of via, you know, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashim al upon us. <clears throat> Let's get this real fast. Let's jump to the book of Ephesians. Chapter six. And you know, I'm just going through the spirit, you know. The book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse 12, it says. And I'm reading the KJV, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual witness, wickedness in high places. And this is our bat. This is what our battle is against. We're fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, and not only that, we're battling against what? We're battling against our flesh. We're battling against. Our our our, uh, our fleshly desires, our our fleshly lust. Okay. Things that may not be uh, benef beneficial to you. Right. These different things that you know you may want, but may not be beneficial to you because it can become a what, and distraction, and a distraction can come by the way of uh, of many forms, you know, working. Women, you know, uh, different pleasures, you know, and whatever that may be. So we got different forces, enchantments, you know, a uh, uh, different uh, uh, witchcraft that he have put out there to what? To uh, continue to trap the minds of Jake in a, in a major way. How he's, how he's getting over in, on Jake is what? By continuing to keep Jake in what? Sin. Okay? When you go into the scriptures, the top how sin 
uh, continues to keeps us separate separated from our power. That's in the book of Isaiah chapter fifty nine verse two. All right. So since we're fighting against spiritual wickedness in high places, what does it say in verse thirteen? Wherefore take unto the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to withstand the devil. So like it, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and have been done in all to having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having a breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench the fiery darts of the wicked. Right? So, this is what you want to do. You want to take on the whole armor, you know? Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai? Has to be what? He has to be, you know, uh, so to speak, your shield and buckler. Right? Hey, I'm done with all those uh, pellets of candy and I'll buy if you wanted to put them up. Okay, thanks. No buddy. All right, so, you know, Salakia. <clears throat> okay. Um... So, yeah, so where was we at? Oh, I wanted to get this. All right, first I just ate. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right? So we are already being, we're being warned that temptation is going to come against us. You know, temptation is going to be there. You know, it's almost to the point. See, that's what we got to walk the straight gate. You know, and temptation is on. You'll have temptation on your left and on temptation on your right. OK, but you want to keep you want to keep on staying focused of going forward. You know, keeping your eyes single. All right. Whatever the, the, a, a brother's temptation may be. But the point the point is you want to uh, you want to resist the temptation. Okay, you want to resist it. Verse two it says, "Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble." Right. So you want to constantly endure the things that you may be going through. Yes, you're going to have hardships. Yes, you're going to have ups and downs. Yes, you're going to fall, but you got to get back up. You got to get back up. The scriptures talk about a, a, a just man a fall of seven times. But he gets back up. He just doesn't lay there. He just doesn't say, you know what? I'm defeated. I'm done. I give up. No. It's not the mindset that we should have. And even though times may feel like that, you're, you're going to have times where you're going to feel like giving up. Not necessarily you want to you give up the truth. Okay? But you may be going through things where you say, man, I'm, I'm just tired of this shit. I don't want to be bothered. I want to be, you know? But we got it. We got it. We got it. We got to shake back. Like, all right, look. I got a. I got a. I got a job. I got a purpose. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai is using me. You know, a, a, as a vessel to do His will, to push His word, not to do whatever the hell I want to do. It ain't about. It ain't about me. Right. So it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. So you just gotta you gotta endure whatever that you're going through. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Okay? Just because you get in the time you get in some uh, trouble, you might get in a, a a a suck a sucky situation. You know, you can't just, you know, you, you can't opt out behind that situation. No. You gotta go through whatever the Lord wants you to go through. Like Elder Yasha Wamba said, you know, there may be, you know, things we go through, there's usually lessons behind it. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. And what are we fighting for? We're fighting for the kingdom. We're fighting for righteousness. We're fighting for rulership. We're fighting for to, to be one with our power again. Just to mention a few things, right? 
which whoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're going through a purging stage. Okay. A cleansing process. When gold and when silver is, is getting uh, cleansed, getting purged, refined, all the impurities are getting, you know, uh, get, uh, they're getting all the impurities out, uh, out the metals. Okay. That's what they're doing. They're getting all the impurities out to, to, to make it the, the best uh, 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 precious uh, metal uh, that they can that it can be. And that's what the Lord is doing us doing to us. OK. So. I got that. Um. So talking about being sober, talking about, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, how I saying to being alert, because ultimately we got that. We want to try to serve the Lord, you know, without many distractions. And sometimes you can bring different distractions upon yourself. Maybe maybe it could be something that you may be desire, desire, you know, and the Lord can the Lord can do whatever he wants. So he can either, you know, hold it back from you because he knows to say, you know what? My son, I know this ain't good for you. I, it, although you want it, I know it ain't good for you. So guess what? I'm not going to give it to you. But then also the Lord can do it to test you. The Lord can, uh, uh, you know, uh, give you something, give something over to you to, uh, to, uh, uh, uh for a lesson, you know, that you can learn from it, <laughs> you know, the Lord can do many, many things uh, of those sorts. Right? No, I want to go back to get it in here. The blue letter. So, as we go back to the book of First Peter chapter 5. Verse 8, it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Right? That's when you get Satan desi desires to sift you, as I said before. Uh... Where is that at? Uh, I might be quoting that scripture wrong. Oh, one second. Desire. Oh, here we go. The book of Luke. The book of Luke chapter 22, verse 31, it says, And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, which is talking about Peter, Behold, Satan have desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Okay, so if we are of the elect, we are not going to be plucked, you know, out of the Lord's hand. But you're still going to go through things OK, you're still going to be tempted with things and these things. What we must resist because we don't know if we're of the elect. So we're of the hopeful elect. OK, so we want to overcome the devil. You know, this, we want to overcome the spiritual demon, Satan, who's desiring to sift. And we want to we want to overcome this devil who's playing the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan, which is Esau Edom. On the earth. Cause see, he's trying to sift. He's trying to sift you away from your power, right? He's trying to sift you away from. He's trying to sift you away from your power. Well, he's right. What he's not trying to establish in the world is this whole MOTB system. He's trying to get you subject unto him. And guess what? We got to resist. We got to resist. Should we have? It's going to get our 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 faith is going to be tested. Whereas we are going to have to separate a hundred percent. 
A hundred percent because this devil is out to destroy us. It ain't going to be no more, you know, a plan, a plan on, uh, 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 on the fence or deal with this devil. No. This devil is going to say, make your choice. And we need to know now. You getting down with us or you getting down with your God? You see what I'm saying? But all these things that's, that's going to come upon us, we must what? Well, we must endure. But before we get to, you know, the nitty and gritty of these different things which are about to come upon us, we already want to prepare our minds of these different, uh, 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 the different things that are in the way, are distracting us, you know, uh, different things that's, uh, you know, uh, uh, keeping us to, the, to be the best of ourselves. That we must start getting rid of these things now. You know? We want to start getting rid of these things now. So when these things do come upon us, you know, uh, they're, they're somewhat, you know, uh, somewhat to a form of, uh, in a mind already dealt with to say, shit, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't care about that. I don't need that. That ain't, you know? So, I mean, this was just a quick hit through the spirit i may do a part two of you know hey you know brothers and sisters because you know hey we we in this faith we gotta get we gotta endure we gotta continue we got we got let the scripture say we gotta fight the good fight of faith all right but we gotta be alert we gotta be aware of the things that's going on around us we gotta be aware of the energies that we surround ourselves with okay We got to be mindful of these different things. So, Lord willing, I hope it was edifying. Uh, I'll do another uh, lesson uh, as soon as I can, Lord's will. Until next time, I want to say shalom.